Hello everyone! For today, I will be doing a collection update as I have downsized my collections again. In this video, I will be sharing my reasons on why I downsized, how I did it, then I'll show you guys who I'm currently collecting and if I have any future plans for my collections and stuff like that. Just as a disclaimer before I start anything in this video, um, dropping or downsizing a group doesn't mean that I don't love the group anymore. It's more of that I feel that I don't really need their physical albums or their photo cards with me and I feel like it's, it doesn't belong in the collection and I'm totally satisfied with just listening to their discography on Spotify or any streaming service, something like that. It doesn't mean that I love them any less. So yeah, so also I might add groups and some members in the future, but this is how I currently see my collection and I'm currently happy with the rate things are going so yeah um, before we get into this video I do have some water with me it's just on another table a little bit farther away from me so guys it's really important to stay hydrated if you're from the Philippines it's really hot now it's it's summer so stay hydrated guys wherever you are regardless of whatever weather you're having it's important to have water Anyway, so grab a beverage of your choice, sit back, relax, and we'll get through this downsizing video. Let's go! So first, I wanted to share some reasons why I downsized. It's been a long time coming, actually. So first up was financial reasons. If you've noticed, I've been very, very slow with my collections, like buying albums and buying photo cards. I actually haven't bought or traded a lot of photo cards this year yet. Um, and that's mainly because mainly financial reasons, you know, bills and things that you need to buy and stuff like that that are essential to you, food. And I also wanted to have some money left over for, well, concerts, if there are ever going to be offline concerts again here, I would like to go, but online concerts I do go. And I also want to have money for my non-K-pop collections as well. And um, I've been pretty frustrated at myself for not being able to complete anything, especially photo card wise. And I've been collecting for around two or three years now. So I wanted a little bit of a more streamlined collection. Um, just keeping the stuff that really sparks joy and that makes me happy. So yeah. So how I did it, basically I used the KonMari method for this one. So I actually really did hold each album and each photo card and asked myself if it still sparked joy. And throughout that process, I did ask myself um, a couple of questions. So the first question that I asked myself when I was, you know, downsizing and doing the KonMari method was, number one, does this photo card or album spark joy? Number two, will it be? Will I be able to bring it with me if and when I move? Um, so yeah, that was another consideration. Number three, will I be proud of this collection in the future when I get older? And kind of like when I go for a collection, it's more or less for keeps already, like until I'm older. Uh, and number four, do I actively seek content for this member or for this group? So basically the ones that I'm collecting, the ones that spark joy, are the ones who are in like the upper tier of my list of groups. So there's like a priority and I collect mostly those who are in the upper part of that list. So yeah, before I proceed with my binder tour, um, I want to show you guys how my K-pop shelf looks like and I'll be showing you how it looked like before. Uh -huh. 
and the K-pop shelf that you are seeing right now in front of me is how it looks like now. I'm pretty sure you can kind of see a little bit of a difference. Uh, the calendar over there, over here, that's not included in my shelf. That is um, from the season's greetings of 17 for this year and it's currently May so it's currently um, hushy over there. So yeah, let's just get right into it. The newest addition to my shelves are these two jewel case size, uh, jewel case shelves. I just wanted to explain this before I just show you stuff without explaining much, I guess. Um, yeah, um, I found these when we were cleaning out the garage, so I decided to put all the jewel case size stuff in them and they made kind of nice little stands for some of my signed albums as well all right so without further ado um i'll just be going through it i won't be explaining everything i probably won't be talking in this next clip but you can kind of see the difference Before I proceed with what's currently in my binder, I just wanted to say, mention who I'm dropping. So I am dropping XO and Very Very S collections. It doesn't mean that I don't love them anymore. I really do like their music and everything, but I just don't, they're not a priority group for me. And it doesn't, I feel that I don't need their things physically as a collection for me to be their fan. Okay, so the way we'll do this is that we'll go backwards from the ones that are in the back of my binder all the way to my ultimates. The first group on this list is K and K. For them, I get their albums if they do have like a make star GoFundMe like they did last time. And I usually just keep all my pulls. So that is why I have all of this. It's probably not really gonna grow, but that's basically it. I really do love their music. I think that they are very, very underrated and they do need all the help they can get. Okay, so for FD Island and 2PM, the reason why I put them in the back isn't because I don't love them less, it's because it's harder to get their stuff because they are an older group. For FD Island, I do get their comebacks. I like to get Honky solos as well and I just keep whoever I pull. So yeah, if I see an older album, I pick it up if I can. So I just have this. And these posters will go to a poster binder someday. For 2PM, same with FT Island. If they have a comeback now, I do get their stuff. I don't really try to trade much for 2PM, but if I can, I will try to get more of Junho's stuff. For the boys, this is the collection that I downsized a lot um, for both albums and photo cards. For their albums, I have decided to only collect the eras that I super loved because like for example, Thrilling and Maverick, I wasn't super fond of. So if there are um, albums of theirs that I really, really loved, 
everything of in the future i will collect those eras so as of the moment i collect um, the album all versions of the start the sphere the only dreamlike and reveal and again that's open for future stuff and I collect Young Hoon's album photo cards for these particular albums and I do have like a row of special cards and I do collect Ju Hakyeon, just his, just my four favorite PCs, photo cards of all time of Ju Hakyeon. He's my second bias. It took me a long time to actually figure that out, but yeah. So for the start, I actually have set up here the spe the start special card that's what i want to get and then everything else is set up for the photo cards from those eras and this is for reveal i know i just have this one left so if anyone anyone has a um young hoon with this moon version from reveal that would be great and i could finish it off I'm also going to get another special card just for this one to fill it up. Um, so yeah, so this row is full of special cards. Oh, this one should be the AAA photo book, photo card. But yeah, it's kind of hard to find. But I hope that I can get it so that this this um, so that this row can be filled. I also keep the bigger inclusions from those albums. This one came with the the only album that I have. So I kept that as well. And then reveal, and then this is from the thrilling, um, what do you call this? Album, I just kept it because the stickers were cute. And this is from a season's greetings that somebody gave to me. So here are the four uh, photo cards of Joha Kians that I have decided to keep. This may change in the future depending on their photo card releases and stuff like that. But for now, this is it. Um, I know that people are going to comment about that it's not sleeved and everything. This is actually just a trial run. I still have to get myself an A5 binder. So I put everything that I wanted to experiment with an A5 binder with here in this Golden Child binder that I have. But that was for Juha Kian. For Monster X, I have decided to only collect the Korean albums in just two versions of those but it's not going to be a very high priority meaning that if they have a comeback if it kind of interferes with my plans of saving up for my alts then I, I am fine with just getting Monster X's albums later on but I still really love them though and then for photo cards I have decided to only collect Min Hyuk and Ki Hyun and it's only photo cards and I got around one or two PCs per era. So I kind of tried to test it out here. So if you can see that. So I have just one one from what's this? The clan. And then yeah, that one. This one is for the code, I think. Yeah. So this is the Oh, it's my version. Okay, so this is the code protocol terminal. So I just, I've just set, set it up that way. And then for Fantasia X, I only have decided to keep those two. And then the same goes for No Limit. I will probably choose my favorite Minhyuk and my favorite Kihyun PC. If you guys don't mind that I turn on the air gun because it is so very hot. It's summer in the Philippines. So yeah, for God 7, this is a collection that I do want to start. For group albums, I will get one version. For solos, I will only get one version. And for unit, like the JJ Project, I will just get one version as well. As for photo cards, I will be collecting all of Young J's Korean album photo cards. And I might add GOT7 DVDs in the future. Who knows? But that's the plan so far. For CIX, I plan to collect all Korean albums and I downsized the photo cards from OT5. I am only collecting two members and that is Jin Young, Bae Jin Young, and Hyun Suk. So we'll just go through what I have. So I rearranged stuff. So this is Jin Young's page. I have to put a filler here, but I'm hoping to get a pre-order benefit for that one. 
So, more Jin Young. And then this is Hyun Suk's page. No. Yes? No. No, this is Hyun Suk's page. Okay, it's stuck. So, Hyun Suk. More Hyun Suk. And that is it for CIX and for this binder. For one week, I have decided to only collect their albums and not their photo cards because for me, the photo cards don't matter for one week because I really, really, really love their music. And what's important for me is to really just have their physical albums and the CDs and everything. So yeah, that is my plan moving forward, going forward with one week. Right, so for on and off or O and F, I collect all Korean albums. And then for photo cards, for Hyojin, I collect all of his Korean photo cards. For Ishan and MK, I collect my top three favorite photo cards per era, and that including pre order benefits. I also have collected, and I, I, I basically have kept my four favorite JS photo cards of all time. It may change depending on how much I like the upcoming PCs. I mean, the four number will still be there. It's just that, just like with Juhak Nyan, the, the photo cards might change. And for special merch, I do get their fan kit and some special MD cards. So let's go through it. So we have Hyojin's cards. There's a lot of space that's blank. And then here's Ishan, so I only collect top three. So for example, for the Go Live era, it's just these three. And yes, that does include pre-order benefits. And then this is MK's uh, portion. And these are the special MD cards. So here's Hyojin's, and here is his My Name Is, here is Ishan's, um, what year is this? Spin-off, I think. Yeah, and here is his My Name Is, and then we have MK, and his My Name Is, we have some other inclusions. Bigger inclusions that I just kept. Postcards. Oh, um, there are some bigger items that I do collect OT6 for. For example, these letters. And um, it's not good here, but this get the disket message from their last album. Yeah, and then for their fanship, I do keep everything that came with it. So they have ID cards too, and they have stickers, but yes. Yes, that is everything for on and off. For Golden Child, I am collecting all the Korean albums. For photo cards, Jang Jun and Tag, I collect all Korean album photo cards. And my top three favorite photo cards per era for Juchan. For special merch, I do get their season's greetings. One set of concert PCs for Jang Jun, Tag, and Ju Chan. So we have Jang Jun. We just have a couple of cards and things left for him. This is Tag's section. This is Ju Chan's section. So for the stuff that are in three, I like if it's just two photo cards, I just kept them. And then um, yeah. So for example, for um take a leave and pump it up era, that's when I really started collecting. I'm planning to collect just three. So 
some bigger inclusions. Contact photo cards. Season's greetings photo cards. Bigger season's greetings inclusions. Okay, not bad. Oh no, I can show you this. So I kind of did a little experiment because I didn't want to really get rid of the other photo cards. So I just separated my top three and then just put all of them else, all of the rest here. And that was it for Golden Child. For Pentagon, I am deciding to collect all the Korean albums and all the photo cards for the Korean albums for Huey, Hong Suk, and Kino. For special merch, I do get Concert and Seasons greetings. Um, but I only get member sets, so basically specific to Huey, Hongsok, and Kino. I'm very proud of my Pentagon collection. Bigger, bigger album inclusions. posters that will go into a separate poster binder, concert stuff, season's greetings related items, Kino's fan kit items. I do kind of plan to collect Kino's fan kit stuff, but yeah, let's see. Because I did get the fourth universe kit over here, as you can see, but I'm not sure if I want to do this moving forward or just collect Kino's. And this was it for Pentagon. Now we are getting into my top three oaths. So the first is G-Friend. So for G-Friend, I collect all albums, Korean, all photo books, and all DVDs. For solos, I get one version. So for example, Yuju, I have one version. Yerin is going to be making a debut as well, so I will be getting one version of hers as well. For BBG, which I consider as a unit, I am getting all versions. For photo cards, I am collecting Shinbi. All Korean photo cards and all seasons greetings for Yuju and for solos I will only be collecting my top three favorite cards per era and that's mostly Korean album only um, for BBG I will only be collecting Shinbi and group cards only and for concert DVD inclusions I will collect OT6 of course so let's go through this. Oh, and if a photo book has like photo cards, I will try as I will try to get OT6 as well. So this is Shinbi. There's a lot that's missing. Hmm. 
my favorite chin B hair and my favorite set. I also am in love with her red hair. So this is the Yuju section. Bigger inclusions. Sometimes I, if I have like, um, if there's extra space, I do collect one other member and that's usually Unha. This is from a concert DVD. Concert DVD. All right, and that was it for All right, and that was it for Gfriend. So 17 is my second um, favorite ult of all time. So for 17, I collect all Korean albums and DVDs. For photo cards, I collect all of Joshua's Korean album photo cards as well as his concert photo cards. For One Win DK, I choose my two favorite photo cards per euro. Yeah, that's what I did. And then I also decided to keep my top for Sunkwan and my top for Vernon photo cards that I had, including pre-order benefits, because I could not help myself and I could not resist it. So now you kind of know my top five in 17 is Joshua, Wanwu, DK, Sunkwan, and then Vernon. I also collect special merch. I collect select photo books. I'm not sure if I will just collect Joshua's photo cards or OT13 for that. Let us see. And then I do collect the carrot kit, the um, season's greetings. And yeah, that's pretty much it. It's a pretty big collection and I'm very excited about it. We have Joshua stuff here. There are many blanks that I need to fill in. Bigger inclusions. Concert photo cards. Photo book. Season's greetings. I'm not sure if you can see that properly. I'm not sure if you can see that properly, but that's Zhang Han. And this is Joshua. Then we have Jun and Hanshi. 
Then we have Won Woo and Woo Ji. V8, Mingyu. DK, Sun Kwan. Verdun, Dino. I kind of want to transfer these to mini posters, but a mini poster binder, but I don't know. More season's greetings. I can't see that one. Stickers. Carrot kit related stuff. I put this lonely um, V8 carrot kit from a pre an older generation of carrot kit here, just in case. I do have ambitions of collecting OT13 for all their seasons greetings and carrot kits, but let's see if that can actually happen. Again, I tested out my Wonwoo and DK um, plan in this Golden Child A5 binder, so I'm kind of, it's kind of set up like that. So um, what I was mentioning, oh, I'll show you later. I think it's going to be easier. So for example, I chose my two favorite Wonwoo photo cards where you made my dawn and two favorite photo cards for DK for You Made My Dawn. Which is why for um, Hengare, I only chose my favorite two for DK, my favorite two for Wonwoo. <laughs> Semicolon. And then I did collect my favorite um, photo cards of Sunkon and Fernan, so I only chose four. Did I choose four? Yep, so those are the four, including pre-order benefits. My ult of ults, Infinite. So for them, I collect all albums and DVDs that are Korean. For photo cards, I only collect... I downsized from OT7 to only collect Sungyu, Myungsu, and Hoya. For solos, I only collect one version per album and my top three cards. So here is the collection. It's very small for now. Lots of blank spaces, but yeah. I just didn't want to remove Sunyeol's date card, so it's still there. I feel that this is way much more doable than the OT7. But for example, if I get all members, like this postcard set, I just kept them. Normally for concert DVDs, I also just keep all the inclusions. And solo stuff. This is from um, concert merch for Sungyu for the day. I'm thinking, I'm just making this up right now. I might actually add maybe one set of concert merch per person, maybe. So for Sungyu, I already have this one. Maybe for Wuhyun, I'll just get my favorite set or something like that. I have no idea actually what I'm going to do when Infinite comes back as a full group and they have a Season's Greetings, I might cave and get myself a Season's Greetings of Infinite. But let's see. I really do love them. They are my older folks. So now, onto my future plans. I am currently thinking of only collecting the albums that I like 
for AB6, SF9, and 1S, just like one version or something. Yeah. And then I'm also looking for another girl group to collect aside from GFriend. Apparently, it's my girl group era now, guys. So that's really exciting. So let's see who'll get added. But so far, I really do like this whole arrangement. I think I'm way happier with the amount that I'm collecting as compared to before. And I feel like it's more doable as compared to before. So yeah, that basically was everything um, for my collection update video. And my question for you guys is, what collections in your K-pop collection gives you the most joy? But yes, thank you for sticking around all the way until the very end of this video. It means the world to me. Thank you so much. I hope to be able to make some photo card organizing videos very soon. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I hope that wherever you are, you are staying safe and well. And until then, I will see you in the next video. Bye!